back to the weather because um, I'm not even sure I have anything to go after that, Derek. You might just have to take Let's just talk about snow. Let's go, right, right, right. go ahead and take it away because I have no idea where that conversation was headed. I'm afraid to touch it. I know, right? Uh, yeah, we got some snow on the way, guys. It looks like it's going to come in late tomorrow night. So by this time tomorrow night, we actually should see it uh, moving in from the west. And it's going to be a little messy here overnight tomorrow night and into Saturday morning. But the rest of the weekend looks fine at this point. So it's not going to be something that's going to disrupt all of your weekend plans. Let's get right to it and show you what's going on with the radar now. We had a couple of showers earlier with a very fast moving front. But that's since cleared the area. And it looks like we're going to be fine here for the rest of tonight. Just a little chilly. Not as cold as last night, though, as temperatures are now starting to settle back into the mid to upper 30s. We got some low 40s out there as well. BWI Thurgood Marshall at 36, 43 right now uh, out towards the Inner Harbor over the Eastern Shore. We're looking at some upper 30s. Right around 50, though, out towards the Frederick area. So, again, those winds now starting to turn out of the northwest. Uh, at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. They're starting to pick up a little bit more here out in the parts of Frederick County. So we expect a winds to be a little gusty here for tomorrow morning. Looks like skies will be mostly clear here for later, later on tonight and tomorrow morning with plenty of sunshine. Mid 30s to start and we should end up in the mid 40s here for tomorrow afternoon under a partly cloudy sky to begin. And then things are going to start to cloud up later in the day because of this storm system right here. And you can see the snow beginning to break out through parts of Iowa into South Dakota, Nebraska and Kansas. And this is the storm that is going to give us the snow tomorrow night into Saturday morning. Right now it looks like that winter storm watch continues here. Uh, and we're likely going to see this upgraded. I do think that when you wake up tomorrow morning, by the way, you need to tune in tomorrow morning, 430, to catch uh, meteorologist Meg McNamara, Mac, Meg McNamara to give you the latest update on this. But this is all going to be filled in, likely with a weather, weather advisory, because uh, we're expecting about two to four inches of snowfall with this system across parts of the area. Now, let me show you some different locations here in Baltimore. These are all the different forecast models we use. We like to see the agreement in the models. We like to see a lot of these numbers either close together or the same. And you can see they're going with about a two to three inch snowfall total here for Baltimore through Saturday morning. Same thing for places like Westminster, two to three inches expected, maybe some isolated spots up to four in Carroll County. For Howard County, same story, two to three, maybe some localized spots up to four inches. So so we're going to go with a general two to three for Howard County, Cecil County, same story up towards Elkton, two to three inches there. So some pretty good agreement over on the eastern shore. Don't want to forget about you guys over in the eastern area. We're looking about two to three inches there. So again, it looks like just about everybody's going to see in general about two to three inches. There'll be some spots to get a little bit lower, and I think that's going to be favoring more of the southern locations. But generally about two to four. And this is going to be adjusted as we get more data in because we still got about another well less than 24 hours for this event continues uh, starts to uh, get ramped up across our area. So we're going to continue to update this map. So here's future cast starting off in the morning with sunshine temps in the mid 30s. Tomorrow afternoon we'll have some sun clouds start to roll in very quickly. So late tomorrow evening we're still going to be dry. Then here comes the snow coming in by 11 o'clock Friday night. And you can see it coming in from the west and all this dark blue here is steady snow. And again, it's going to be between about 1 and 6 a.m. Saturday that we're going to see most of the snow overnight with temps near freezing. Roads are going to become snow covered, particularly with some of the snowfall rates that we're expecting. One to two inches per hour that will coat the roadways pretty quickly. Notice by 9 a.m. though, the snow pulling out very quickly. We're actually going to see some sunshine by late morning Saturday into Saturday afternoon. So again, as I showed you earlier, the snow arrives around midnight Friday night, continues through Saturday morning, could see some snowfall rates one to two inches per hour, and that's going to be the hazard between 1 and 5 a.m. Road conditions will be at their worst during the overnight hours Friday into Saturday morning, and then the storm will be moving out of the area pretty quickly by Saturday morning. And as you can see from the seven-day forecast, the rest of the weekend looks fine. Highs around 40 tomorrow, 47 or 40. I should say right around 40 on Saturday, 47 on Sunday. And then as we get into next week, it's going to be ancient history as far as the snow is concerned. We'll be back close to 60 by next Thursday. Back to you guys. All right, Derek, thank you for more first alert weather and updating news. Check in with Cena Gabriel, Tim Williams, and Meg McNamara. That's tomorrow morning on WJZ starting at 4 30.